All right, boys, going to show you a really good way to loop blitz out of the nickel 3-3 formation. If you want to get my entire nickel 3-3 defensive ebook, the link's going to be in the description. My Patreon membership will get you access to all of my Madden off offensive and defensive ebooks. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to literally everything in there. So if you want to become a Patreon member, the link's going to be down in the description. Now, what we're going to be talking about today is the Tampa 2 or a zone blitz that I really like out of nickel 3-3. And all you really need is this Tampa 2. Now, um, what we're going to do here is we are going to basically create a loop concept. What I like to do with this blitz, uh, and what I like to do with this defense in general, is walk this linebacker out. We're going to blitz him. And then really from there, we're just going to QB contain. And from there, you can take this slot corner, and I like to man him up on whoever the problem receivers are in the formation. So for gun bunch, it's going to be this – um, slot receiver. If it was trip side in, it might be the middle trips receiver, right? Uh, but basically that's it. It's a little four man loop that is really consistent out of this defense. Now, the beauty of this is let's say they block their tight end. What I've found with this defense is they're really not going to be able to consistently pick up this blitz, even if they do that. So you'll see right here, and I, I love to blitz my user as well. Um, but basically what you're going to see is if they, they block their tight end, you see the blitz is still going to come in. Now notice that I have a really, really good uh, defensive end over there uh, from an agility perspective. Agility is the key attribute, the key rating that is going to matter the most uh, when you're running this defense. So you want someone that has good agility. Now if they block a running back, it's honestly not 100% that they're going to pick this up consistently but I'm going to show you what to do if they start to block a running back. We'll show the blitz one more time against block running back. And again, all you're doing, you're just walking this guy out, putting him on a contain, and then you can man up that blitzing slot corner when you're only sending the four man. The beauty of nickel 3-3 is you can send four and get really, really glitchy sheds and pressure. And you really don't need to do much more than just send four, to be quite honest. But if you want to get the blitz to come in against a send four, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to bring this guy out. We're going to put him on a contain, and then we're just going to move this guy down just a smidge, and we're going to stand about right here. And what you're going to see is even if they block a running back now, you're going to get the pressure to come off of the other side off of that uh, nickel corner. So the beauty of this is if, even if they block a running back to try to pick up the, the loop side, then you're going to have this opposite side pressure that is pretty effective as well and could potentially result in some B-gap pressure. And, it, and the beauty of the loop blitz, honestly, is it's just very cost effective. You don't have to put uh, you don't have to put a lot of people on uh, the blitz for it to, to be good. And also, um, it's just like I said, it's really cost effective. And it's actually like even, even when it gets picked up, it really pushes the pocket well, uh, which makes it super, super good. Now, I want to give you some coverage adjustments behind this blitz to make it even better against Bunch. What we're going to do is we're going to basically play cover two on the Bunch side, and then we're going to play cover three on the solo side because we know they have to block a running back. If they don't block a running back here, we're going to put the solo wide receiver side corner in the third, put the safety in either man coverage on the running back, which you can do that, or you can put him in the middle third yourself. And basically, if the running back goes on a route, we're just going to go use the running back. And as you can see, they're going to get absolutely screamed at. If the running back blocks, then you're able to just use her over the middle of the field. And the beauty of this, as I said, is that it's not always 100% that they're going to be able to uh, block this blitz. It just isn't um, the way loop blitzing works right now in the game is this is pretty inconsistent pickup. And it can sometimes pick it up. But as you can see here, they're feeling the pressure. You get a quick shed and they're going to be sacked and they're already taking away one of the resources to send out on a route. So super simple defense. You could honestly do this out of cover two. Um, if you did it out of cover two, that nickel corner will be on, on a vert hook. So the biggest thing I want to say here is use this guy in main coverage. Use that uh, linebacker main coverage. As you see, we're still in the same basic blitz concept. You can literally do it from anything in the formation. Super effective, guys. If you want to get my entire nickel 3-3 uh, defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description below. It's only 10 bucks to join the Patreon. It'll get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we drop over on the Patreon. We got about 15 different uh, offensive and defensive ebooks as of right now, and we're continuing to update those and add to those as the years goes on. Thanks for watching, and if you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link's going to be down below in the description.